Talking to chart manager Russell Slade ahead of Saturday's match at Swindon, Russell excluding Tuesday's Trekker Trade Trophy penalty shootout defeat at Colchester, chart are unbeaten in five, including three wins. You said a week ago that you detected seeds of momentum developing. Does your recent record underline that? Yeah, I think so. I think that certainly backs it up in terms of results and in terms of the performances in, in general uh, have slowly started to come together. But we, you know, we, we've got to maintain it. That's the trick, is reproducing and reproducing those performances to, and, and to continue to improve so we can uh, climb the table. You've also emphasised the squad's developing mental strength. Yeah, definitely, because it, it, it's, a, it's a tough old league. Well, most of the leagues are, but um, so, sometimes, you know, t learning to win a game 1-0 um, is, is important and to see games out, to manage games properly um, is, is, uh, is a big part of being successful. Nicky Josie makes his first return to Swindon since leaving them to join Charlton. I bet he's desperate to start on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I hope so too. But it's um, it, it it it's always um, it's always nice in a way for for a player to go back to his old club um, when he's moved on. Um, and I don't know any player that doesn't want to do well against his old club either. Uh, as good a time as Nicky had there, or anybody's had at their previous club. So you want to go back and you you want to put in a performance. Can you say whether he'll start? Um, he has a chance. <laughs> Russell, because of international call-ups, Charles be without Josh McGuinness, Jordan Bataka, Adimola Lookman at Swindon. Would you have preferred a free weekend? Well, look, you don't want... It's, it's a dilemma, really, because you don't want games stacking up. Um, but at the same time, you, you want to go in with the best possible chance of winning a football match as well. So... Um, it's a bit of a catch-22, really. But it is disappointing that those players are unavailable to us, but it, that is what it is. and um, The game will go ahead because it's a Sky game. Um, so, you know, we will have to call upon other players to come in and uh, ensure that, you know, we get performances out of them because it's a very important game for us and three important points at stake. And on top of those absentees... Uh Ricky Holmes, I imagine, is a big doubt with that foot injury. Has he got a chance? Yeah, he's still he's still a doubt. It's um, it's all the bruising there now. Obviously, he's had um, stitches in the in the foot, um, so it's still fairly sore. So, you know, we take each day as it comes with that. Better than fifty fifty? Um, probably is about that really. Yeah, you got that out of me. That's all you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any uh -huh. other injury worries? Um, there's one or two little niggly bits. Obviously, Percy has, has had an injection, and 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 Sol's, um, more recently. So, but we're, we're we're hopeful that they will be um, available for us. Um, otherwise, we're all going to be um, down to the bare bones. But um, yeah, I'm hopeful that they'll be okay. We touched on the Colchester game on Tuesday. Was there anyone? Uh who played in that game, did they force themselves into contention for Saturday? Um, well, listen, whenever we have a game, um, it's an opportunity for players to stake a claim. And, um, you know, there was, um, you know, it's a mixed team, as you know. There's a lot of young players in there as well that um, didn't do themselves any harm. But um, uh, overall, we've, we've got one or two players, obviously, coming back into the side, um, or more than one or two after after the midweek game, um, the idea was that at least um, we ensure that we go into the Swindon game uh, with with some fresh legs, and uh, we've uh, we've achieved that. Teixeira played on Tuesday. Would he be available to you on Saturday? Um, yeah, we'll see how he comes through today. He won't, he won't do a lot today because he's, he's other than. Uh, couple of under 21 games, under 23 games, um, his, his first competitive one, so that would have taken a fair bit out of him. Um, but yeah, they'll go on, a, he'll be on a, like a second day recovery today. We'll see how he comes out of it.
So he's got a chance. Oh, he's, he's certainly got a chance of being in 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 the um, the nineteen twenty man squad that travels to um, Swindon for sure. Yeah, yeah. And victory could lift you to eighth position. Yeah, I mean it's such a tight league, isn't it? Um, it's, it's it's incredible, really. But it just shows you you do need that momentum that we all talk about uh, as managers and uh, as, as staff. Um, we just need to keep it going because if you keep it going, you know, you can be in a much better position um, looking forward in another two or three weeks' time for sure. Do you think this division is now settling down? It will start to settle, but um, you, you, what, what you can't do is you put your foot down and you can't bring your foot back up, you Put it, keep it down on the accelerator, keep moving forward because um, if you take your foot off it, then um, you'll start to slide. Um, so take nothing for granted, no opposition for granted. It's a tough old league, and um, you know at the minute we need some points. Ross Estrade, thank you very much. Oh, my God.